Hi friends, welcome to Crafting and Relaxing. Today's video is a bit different. It's all focused on adhesive. I am not an adhesive expert, but I am someone who has tried a lot of different things. In fact, I'm a little embarrassed to show you all of these adhesives and all of this stuff is mine except for maybe two things. So I'm a little embarrassed, but part of it is garage sale shopping. So that's why I have a variety of brands or repeats. Tuesday morning shopping, so stocking up, which I'm very grateful for right now. The reason this video came about is I am in search of my next great adhesive. I like to have a wet adhesive and what I would call a dry adhesive or a tape runner. My True Love Tape Runner, this is one color. They come in a million different colors and the older ones were curved slightly different. Was Herma Dotto, also known previously as Hermafix. It traded manufacturers a couple times and then vanished. At this point, you can find these sometimes at Tuesday morning, but that's it. Seems like it got discontinued. It was not easy to reload. It wasn't. But what I like about tape runners, what I'm looking for is low environmental impact. So on this, these two parts were refills, but the plastic pieces, except for the spool, were part of the dispenser itself. So you had very little waste. It came in a small cardboard box to get the refill. It was kind of a pain. The other thing that was amazing about Hermodotto is it was removable. You could put this striped paper down or the black and then go, oops, and take it right back off. Two weeks later, you couldn't do that. But that day, if you lined up your papers crooked, you could remove it. My friend Noni is saying that Gina K is the closest thing to Hermodotto on the market right now. So I haven't really tested Gina K a lot as far as removing things, just because when you're making a project, if you like it, you don't want to rip it apart and see. So I probably should do some more testing. Also, the Gina K goes on super smooth and nice. What I'm finding is the Hermodotto that's on the market now is drier. It's old. I'm not saying if you see a bunch, stock up and buy it and plan to use it for the next year. I don't think that will make you happy. But if you want, you can try it. So that is sort of what started all of this. I purchased the Xyron Mega Runner. This was, I don't know, maybe two years ago I bought this. It's kind of wide and it came, I believe, at one point, or maybe I messed up and ordered with a half inch refill. I don't like half inch unless I'm doing some sort of journal project or something where I'm trying to cover a lot of width. The reality of it is, if you give me a three quarter inch piece of paper and I wanna go down quick and be done and you give me a half inch, it's gonna get too crooked. I need that extra play of just using a quarter inch adhesive. I liked this okay. It had a giant cartridge, whole bunch of plastic that popped in. I think the refill was, um, I can't recall. And it had a whole bunch of plastic, big spinny discs, super easy to reload though, right? That's the trade-off. If you want it easy to reload, then they put all the plastic in to structure it properly. I think maybe these are discontinued. I've been looking online because I thought, well, I'll just order a refill. And it was an astronomical price. It was like $20 and I didn't pay $20 for this new. Gina K, I have a bunch of the packages here just so I can show you. Because if you're going to buy refillable tape runners, you need to learn to shop for them. These are the refills only. If you look at a dispenser and you can't figure out how you would hold it in your hand, that should be an indicator. This is the actual dispenser. It's $3 at Tuesday morning when it's new. And then half of it, it clips apart. Let me show you right here. I just wanted to show you in the package. You push the button and the sides separate, okay? And then this part comes out and you buy a new one. So again, more plastic waste than I would like to see. Keep in mind, I it's not uncommon for me to make 20 or 30 cards in a weekend. So I use a lot, So and, and I'm a greenie, so I worry about that. But again, super easy to refill, pop it in, put the sides together, and you're back in the game. 
Okay, just a little button right there. It's clearly labeled and easy, and it's nice. It's narrow, it goes on smooth. There are a million tape runners. Some of them are, uh, how do I show you this? Okay, see how it's dotted right there? There are ones like that. Then there are ones where it is a stream, there we go, of sticky tape, okay? I do not buy these ever, except this one was, I think, $1.99. And look at, look at the size of this. I mean, the Gina K one is small. But look at the size of this cute little pinky. This is great for travel. Airports, TSA, the whole deal. So I bought this for my travel kit. Normally, I don't like that kind of tape runner where it's a big, long string. They get globby. I don't like it. This is a ThermaWeb product. Gina K is also ThermaWeb. I was very happy with this little pink runner. And if you're somebody who sees these in Tuesday morning and doesn't need a lot of tape runner, this thing is a great little value. If you just want to make one card now and then with your granddaughter, that's the way to go, for sure. But also... A glue stick will work too or double-sided tape we'll get there so that's why I have that it's super cute but typically I don't buy those ones where it's a big long stringy I don't like those tape runners I like I feel good about tape runners they're a good one goes on quick refills maybe with some complexity to get my lower plastic content down but it, they'll they'll go and they'll go. And I also am looking at the price because two of these are $4.49. I can use these two bad boys in a day. If, if we're at the beach and we're crafting all day, I can use these no problem. So that kind of gives you an idea. Like, do you want to spend five or $10 a day on adhesive? Mm, probably not. Probably not. Which is why... I have ordered an ATG gun. I've resisted for years. I found one online. It's not going to be blue, so I'm a little heartbroken, but I'm going to try out an ATG gun because it sounds like people who have them aren't in love with them. They aren't. It's not like the way I feel about Hermodotto or Art Glitter Glue, but they get the job done. They're consistent once you get it loaded right, and they're value priced to make cards. I'm willing to try it. Let's get moving and talk about glue dots. I don't care what brand it is. I don't care. Zots, I got those uh, at a garage sale, I think. And I have purchased them before. Glue dots, I, I, I don't think I have a preference. I've never checked like where, okay, we got some problems here. Where these are made. Oh, so Zots are made by ThermaWeb. They're made in the USA. They're both made in the USA. I like stuff that's made in the U.S. because I'm a bit of a greenie. If you are in the U.K., maybe you can find similar products near you that are made in the U.K. and then we're not shipping them around the planet, right? So, like I said, I don't care which brand. I like my glue dots on a roll. And the different companies have different shaped rolls. I don't care. I like to take my, my item to my glue dot. Oh, these are tiny ones. Let me show you. Here. Let me show you with a bigger one so you can see it on camera. So I love to use glue dots to glue buttons on. I take my button. I put it on the glue dot. I push it down really well. I kind of touch the back, especially if they're old and too sticky. And then I peel it off. So my glue dot is on the back of my button. And I stick that right onto my card, journal, or whatever. Push it on real good. And I'm done. You could also use Beacons 3-in-1. You could probably use Tombow. You could definitely use Art Glitter Glue. There would be dry time. You would have to wait. With your glue dot, you're done in a second and it stays. It doesn't pop off later if it gets too dry. Some glues, your buttons are going to fall off when they get to your friend. I did not enjoy the Glue Dots Adhesive Dispenser. This has washi tape all over it because I opened it up took out all the parts that were wadded up and taped it back together. I would not purchase this again. The only way I would buy this is maybe it was 50 cents and I was out of glue dots. It's 
torn. You can see the glue dots have started gluing themselves to the inside. Also, with my methodology where I take the button, where I take the button and put it on here, A, it's hard to grab it. B, it's hard to tell when it's going to come out. It, it is not a joy. I, I would not purchase this again. I can't imagine a world where I want my glue dots on a tape runner. In fact, I had a situation crafting one day and ended up with like 18 inches of this pulled out when I was trying to repair all of this and then just started sticking buttons to the stream of it because I didn't know what else to do with it. It was a hot mess. I would not buy that again. Keep in mind, I'm not advocating for all these products. I'm just being transparent. PVA glue. I bought this because it's ideal for bookbinding and paper projects, like it says. I am not a bookbinder. I thought I absolutely needed this, looked all over, couldn't find it, then ordered it online. It takes longer to dry. I think that's the benefit, and that's why you use it to put on book covers. I think I've used it twice. In reality, this is probably a little advanced for me, maybe something I didn't necessarily need. I have dreams of going out to the shop and making lots of book covers and beautiful things. Maybe I will, but I, I haven't done it lately. I do have some of the covers that I made with this. It smooths out really nice. The layers go together perfectly. Not sorry I bought it, but I've seen people do pretty much exactly the same thing with a giant roll of this tape. And it doesn't even have to be this brand, but the idea is you can lay this out and cover an entire surface and not buy this. It's made in the USA. Not sorry I bought it. I learned, but I probably didn't need it, okay? So that's PVA glue, book binding, all sorts of things. It, it's a slower dry, so it's not ideal for me. I'm impatient. Multimedia matte. This is probably not something you're going to use on cards or scrapbook pages. You could. You could do a super thin coat and it would knock the shine off of products that you're trying to use. What it's really great for is gluing fabric or big chunky papers and things together in your art journal. It, it dries pretty quick, it dries clear. I don't know specifically where I would have used it and you won't be able to see it. And there's also glossy versions and many different brands make this. This is the Ranger one. I keep this in my mixed media cart. It's about half gone, which means I should have bought it. It's made in the USA. I like it. I would buy it again. Sometimes when I'm working on my art journal and slapping things in, I use art glitter glue. Sometimes I use this. Sometimes I use beacons. Really, you could use any one of them, and as long as you were patient enough to let it dry, it would be okay. The thing that's great about multimedia matte is it's really made... It's, it's like a decoupage product, right? When I want to put my napkins down, this is what I use. It's very thin. It dries without any notice at all. You couldn't do that with beacons. Beacons, you could put it on the back. It would be thick and chunky and you would hope for the best. So decoupage or anything like that. Oh my gosh, I don't have any Mod Podge, you guys. It's probably because Andrea's used like every ounce of it on the planet. Same as Mod Podge if decoupage is what you want to do and Mod Podge probably much less expensive. You get a Dollar Tree. Same idea. I had never tried this and I just really wanted to try it and I like it. I would replace it if I ran out. Art glitter glue. I'm a fan. You can, this is the small bottle, two ounces. I love this for working with in my hand. I like it for travel. It this is the size I like to have. You can tell by my label, I'm refilling my bottle. I had two bottles because I picked one up at a garage sale. I will tell you if it's old or probably stored somewhere not great, it gets a little chunky. So not, not chunky, that's not the right word. Stringy might be the right word. So this one I probably should have shook really well. I got it at a garage sale and added a couple drops of water and then, you know, shook it. I used it all up but it wasn't as smooth as others. I've heard if it freezes, it turns to cottage cheese and there's no hope. So they don't ship it when the weather's really cold. It comes like this with this plastic tip. Don't use it like this, that's a waste. It's a complete waste. And when I see people in their videos using it that way, I'm like, oh my gosh. They sell, I've put a ribbon on it so you can't see, this metal tip 
and a stainless steel pen to go in it. The tip I think is about $5. It is the best add-on you will ever buy in your life. It makes it so that you can, let me find you some colored paper. Mine's really cloggy and dirty right now, so we'll have to see. I might have to pin it out. It makes it so that you can do super fine work and your glue, a bottle of art glitter glue, it lasts so long, even if you make as many cards as me. So you put it down on the surface and drag it and see how narrow that gets. If you hold it up and start squeezing, no, that's this is too much. I can tell you, whatever you're gluing, that's probably too much. So you set it down and you move that sucker along. You can't get a bead that small unless you buy the metal tip. Friends, don't let friends use art glitter glue without the metal tip. And I have a video where I messed up my metal tip, so you might want to watch from that. Watch that and learn from it, and not do it that way. There is the 16 ounce size, there's the 8 ounce size. The refill is great, but this is the size I like to work with, the 2 ounce. The way I measure things in my craft room is if I lost them or ran out, would I replace them? Yes. Any moment in time, there's always art glitter glue in my craft room. I use it for attaching tiny embellishments. I use it for attaching, so these, 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 if I wanna tear off some leaves and glue them on, I use it for that. Of course, you can glue paper together. I don't usually use it for gluing like the striped paper or the black paper onto the whole card base. I know some people do. I feel like when I do that, my cards warp just a tiny bit. I mean, it's not noticeable. You probably wouldn't say, oh my gosh, this is terrible, but I'm just really picky. It's probably that I'm a little heavy handed and impatient. It's not the fastest way to glue a four by six area either you know, or A2, that's not exact, I'm just generalizing. So art glitter glue, love it. Glue dots, same thing, must have, would replace them. I use those for buttons because I'm too impatient to wait for a big glob of glue to dry. If I can, if I can glue dot it and move on, I will. This is a tiny little bottle. Many people order these bottles to put smaller portions of things in. This is art glitter glue that I travel with because I don't want TSA to ever take my glue bottle from me. It's two ounces, it should work, it has a needle, there, you know, there's different airports. If they throw this away, I won't cry. I don't like this metal tip as much. It is almost as fine. It has a weird drag. I don't like how it feels when you put it across the paper. I like this one. Plus, this one, you don't have the pin with it, you just have the cute little cover up. And lots of times you need the pin to clear it out. So this one's handy. But these little bottles can be great. I never take anything that I love through TSA, just in case if you're flying, you know, which we're not doing right now. Don't worry about that. Okay, there are a million glues on the market. There are. This quickie glue, the idea of this is great. It goes on blue. You can see it's kind of bluish right there. Let me get you some paper. It goes on blue, so you can sort of see it, just a faint blue, and then it dries clear. This pen is so fine, and they said it, pinpoint roller. I very seldom use this. It is too much work. Even on a super fine die, I just, I don't like to mess with it. The Stampin' Up! two-way glue pen is pretty much the same product in a different dispenser. Goes on this way. Can you even see that? There you go. And then you can push to get more out. See how it's faintly light blue and move it around. I like a tip somewhere between the two of these. I don't use this one at all. It's my friend Noni's, I think, or from a garage sale. I don't know. And I, I, I use one that's in between. I just haven't purchased one lately because clearly I have no shortage of adhesives. And there are lots of brands. Every crafty company makes pens like this. They, they would be called glue pens probably. Glossy accents. This is another thing like, uh, it, okay, it's glue. You can use it to put fancy glossy accents on say a jar and you want it to look like glass 
or rain and you want it to be wet looking but also you can put dots of this down and glue tiny embellishments on it is a clear dimensional medium great for stamping and scrapbooking dries to a hard clear glossy finish it's made by ranger it's a glossy version of something like this and this one is thicker this one will go on super super thin this one is thicker okay tombow I did not like this product. I would not recommend it. It was very shiny. Art glitter glue dries nearly matte. Like you can smear it a little on your project and it won't end it. This I found to be very shiny. Uh, I did not find this end to be fine enough. I did not like this end at all. So uh, I think I got this at a garage sale or took it from an Oni. I would not recommend this. There's another color dispenser, and I wonder if that glue I might like better. This is Tombow. Oh, I forgot to mention, as far as tape runners, I also tried these. These were Tombow. You can buy the refills at Michael's and craft stores, I believe. They come in another color that I think is removable, but my friend Noni said that it doesn't stick. So size-wise, you can see it's about like Gina K. The refills had the plastic like Gina K and they're very expensive. I think they're about $11 for three usually. I mean, with a coupon, it works out okay, but I didn't love it and they were expensive. So I just kind of faded out. You know, I was, it was one of the millions of things I tested. Okay. Things in your house you might already have. If you want to be a crafter, this is where you can start. Double-sided tape. Basic Scotch double-sided tape. I used this for years. It's especially great for assembling the layers of your cards. Won't warp, won't cause you any problems, and will stick really well. Not going to be really inexpensive, right? Because a roll of this is probably like, what, I don't know, $3 or something. I haven't bought any in a long time. And, you know, the dispenser is pokey. So it works fine. You can make adorable cards if you're you stumbled into my channel and you think, oh my gosh, I need to make a card and I don't have 17 adhesives like her. This will work. Any double-sided tape, glue sticks, same thing. You can use, you can glue your layers together with a glue stick. You could glue embellishments on. A glue stick isn't going to hold buttons, okay? It's probably not going to hold bling and chunky things, but you could still make a perfectly cute card. You could probably put ribbon on with this. I typically put ribbon on with tape runners. So either this or something like this. You could also use your scotch tape if your ribbon was wide enough. I try and avoid wet adhesives for ribbon because sometimes they show the color of the adhesive. Like art glitter glue is going to dry clear and beautiful. It's not going to let you down. But it might leave like a mark in the ribbon just like a, a watermark shadow kind of thing because the ribbons are made of different things and I don't test every ribbon first. All right, this is one long video, people. Sorry, I hope you're getting good information. Okay, these are double side adhesives, okay? They are exactly the same thing as the Scotch double-sided tape in the dispenser in essence, but the difference is they have a, a liner on them. When you put this down, let's put this on here, you stick it down, you tear it, and then you peel this off. And it doesn't really show, it's clear, it's dry. You can put stuff on it, I'm digging through my trash and pulling stuff out. You can put stuff on it, it's instant. That one actually even came off, but it crinkles your paper. This, this piece of paper wouldn't look nice to reuse. Those are nice. They stay whatever. So this is this Hobby Lobby brand from Tuesday morning in quarter inch. It also comes in eighth inch. It comes in half inch. I have purchased both. I don't love either one of these. The eighth inch is a little too small for my big hands to work with. The half inch, well, you know how I feel about half inch adhesive. I love the quarter inch. It's my favorite. What I don't like about this is all the tearing and peeling off the white things. I end up with miles of this white stuff all over. And I try and be super tidy, but it's an extra step. Also, when you're watching my videos and I'm doing a process video on 20 cards, 
it, there's a lot of time where I'm peeling off the white stuff and I try and edit that out, but then the video gets choppy and weird. So I just, I don't love, this is, this is the product that is my go-to right now, but I am tired of the little white pieces. That's why I ordered the ATG gun. But right now, these are my go-to products. Art glitter glue, Tuesday morning, and some glue dots. And I could make pretty much anything. If I go to the beach for the weekend, these things are going with me for sure. I'm not taking PVA. I'm not taking this if we're paper crafting. This is more for mixed media. I'll probably forget my glossy accents. I wouldn't bring these, but I would always bring these. Now, some of you said that the red sticks better and it's an absolute must have and that if I buy it, I would love it. I will tell you, I hate it. The red stuff does not tear. And to me, that's important. Um, this fancy brand, I don't know how you say it, Sukwang. Okay, let's go here first. I feel like this brand and these brands are the same. I don't think that there is an adhesive difference. I don't like one or more, more than the other. I don't think there is. There is a significant price difference. These, this one I bought for journal making because the Tuesday morning brand doesn't come in a one inch. This was $11.99. This one was $5.99. This was $2.19. If it says, if it's the score tape brand and it says Sukwang on it, it's going to cost like $5, but it's the same. You peel it, you tear it, it tears just fine. So I'm fine with either one of those. These? No, I don't like these because A, let me show you. Yeah, I have a lot of adhesive. I know it's ridiculous. Does not tear. No, not, not under any circumstances, does not tear. So you have to reach for your scissors every single time. So we reach for our scissors. We put the glue down. Then we peel off this red thing. This is staticky, see that? They're staticky, they end up all over. They get stuck to the dog. I mean, everywhere. And they're hard to like throw away. Look, I just tried to put that in the trash and it's stuck. The trash is right there. It's stuck there. As I was saying, I will not buy these again. I don't like them. Maybe they are more sticky. People have said that it's a better adhesive than the white ones. I don't think I need a better adhesive. I'm not trying to glue anything to the wall or the ceiling. I'm just trying to make cards. And these suck the joy out of it for me. So I, I don't recommend them. It's really important to me that I be able to tear the backing because I'm so messy. Half the time, I can't find a pair of scissors. I can't just reach for it in two seconds. Okay, I wanted to talk to you about basic paint. Any paint that you have, paint and brush, paint and finger. These are two examples of craft paint, very inexpensive, 50 cents, less than a dollar, I'm sure. If you want to get into mixed media and art journaling, anything like that, you don't have to run out and buy multimedia mat. You don't have to go get beacons. You can play with your paint. And let me show you an example. You can glue a piece of paper to a page with paint. This is a, a deli paper that is stamped and then on the back it was painted and stuck to the page. The paint is what's holding it to the page. So right here you can see the bright blue paint underneath. That, it's an adhesive. This is something I did in one of Dina Wakeley's classes and she talks about that. But still, if I wanted to glue this piece of paper in this book right here and I was out of art glitter glue, heaven forbid, right? Or any other glue, I could paint this on the back of it and glue it down and it would work just fine. It would be smooth. These can be glue for you also. We're almost done. I call this beacons, but that's really the brand. The glue itself is three in one. This is the same company that makes Fabri-Tac, which I've never had Fabri-Tac, but I had three in one, so I didn't go out and buy it. And I think maybe Fabri-Tac, there's something about it. It's getting harder to obtain. Many people love it because 
they glue, especially shabby chic crafters, if you want to glue trims and laces and that kind of thing, Art Glitter Glue will do it. It will definitely do it. Beacons. People like beacons because it never fails you. It is, it's definitely going to hold that trim on too. Maybe better than Art Glitter Glue, but it's, it's messier. It's gooier. It smells horrible. Art Glitter Glue, you don't smell. Mine needs to be thinned a little bit. You can't thin this with water. I think mine has gotten a little gooey. When I use this, it is, let me show you. So A, if you get it on your fingers, it's kind of a mess, right? We'll put it right on here. It's, it makes this funny air bubble, so you wanna put the cover back on. Art glitter glue too, if your room is too hot or something about the pressure, it will come out the top, so you have to put your pin back in. I don't know what the deal is. Okay, so that's like the finest bead I can get. And then you kind of get the glue hairs and, you know, it's a messier glue. But let me tell you, I am not going to put my finger in that stuff. Whereas art glitter glue, if I get it on my fingers, I just wipe them on my pants or something. I don't even worry about it and I go on with my day. I don't want this on my clothes. It is not coming off for sure. It's a different level. This would be more like... I think I would compare this more to like an E6000 type thing. You're going to glue some crazy stuff with it. It's made in the U.S. Um, I don't think it says anything about being super healthy for you, probably. No, I do not like the smell. So I only use this if I, I don't know. I use this if I'm in the shop and I don't have my art glitter glue handy. That's probably why, because I keep that in the mixed media cabinet. But mixed media people love it. You know, maybe there's a stigma and art glitter glue is for light crafters. I don't know. I like my art glitter glue. Okay, foam mount. Let's talk about foam mount. You can attach buttons with it. You can make shaker cards with it. You can attach flowers. There's no right or wrong. It just depends on, it depends on where you shop. This, I cut the top off, sorry. Foam mounting tape, Dollar Tree. It's squares. It's very thick, very sticky. It's made by the super glue people. It's in the tool aisle. I am very happy with this. I think it's neat. It, it's pre-cut too, so I kind of like that. Just comes right off and then you stick it on. This is really good for mounting sentiments. Small square things. Like if I wanted to foam mount these cute dogs and put them on the front of a card, it would be really good for that because they're square, very thick, very sturdy. I would not want to use these tiny dots to mount those dogs, right? It would take me forever. So a lot of it is which foam you buy is based on what you're going to make. If you want to make shaker cards, having a straight piece like this that goes on forever is invaluable. If you try and make shaker cards with these little independent squares, you're going to lose your mind. The only thing I'll say, the one more thing about foam mount is don't mix them because they're different thicknesses, right? So I can't take this brand and this brand and use them together to flatten out my sentiment. It'll be wobbly. So you have to pick one and stick with it and get foam mount that goes with what you're doing. If you just want to pop up flowers all day long, Sure, buy this little tiny one. If you want to be the most frugal that you can, well, I think $1 and then you cut it into little tiny squares yourself. One isn't better than the other. Neither one of them fall off my projects and I like them all. One thing about a big roll like this, keep it in the package, okay? Because it gets string from textiles. So if you get a big roll, keep it in the package. I think... That is it. If you have any questions, I'm more than happy to try to answer them. Again, I'm no expert on adhesive. I just know that a couple of you asked and I was happy to share what I know. Ask your local stores, local friends, and find products that work for you. Because one of the things is you'll get used to an adhesive and you wanna get the one that is right for your products or your projects, and then maybe over time, your projects will change, so you'll want something different. But the availability of it is a really key piece too. So if you're not in the US, just because I absolutely love Art Glitter Glue, it's made in Arizona, it's made in the US, 
maybe it's not the one for you. Maybe there's one made within a hundred miles. What would that be? Kilometers of your house that works better for you. Great. Find it. Thanks so much for watching and I hope this was helpful. Bye-bye.